Hey what's up guys, Jason here. This video shows how to install Ubuntu 14.04 on your desktop. Go to ubuntu.com, click on Ubuntu desktop. Here select either 64-bit or 32-bit OS and hit on download. After the download, you can create a bootable USB drive. Now let's start with the installation. In this video, I am installing Ubuntu on VirtualBox. Inside VirtualBox, click on New. Give a name as Ubuntu 14.04. Type Linux version Ubuntu and click on next. Here you can set a RAM size. Don't select red mark line. Here I am giving 1 GB. Click on next. Again click on create. Now select VDI and click on next. Here select dynamic allocation and click on next. Here you can give a hard disk space. Here I am giving 8 GB. After setting hard disk space click on create. Now right click on Ubuntu 14.04. Go to settings. Click on storage. Select the empty disk and select your ubuntu iso file from your hard disk after selecting that click on ok and start the ubuntu os Ubuntu is booted up. After loading Ubuntu 14.04, it gives you two options try Ubuntu and install Ubuntu. When you select try Ubuntu, it's not getting installed in your system, it directly loads a live OS from your ISO file. In this video, I am trying to install Ubuntu on my system, so I will select Install Ubuntu, everything is proper, hit on continue. If you want third party software, click on select the button, erase your disk space and click on install now. Here it asks your country, I am giving India, hit on continue, select the language as English. Now it asks your name. So I am giving 8 bits. And you have to select a password. Click on continue. Now it started installing. By the time of installation, you can see the features of Ubuntu 14.04. It contains more softwares. You can install more softwares using Ubuntu Software Center. You can listen music and also you can see the photos, manage the photos and you can do whatever you want on the web. You can do your office work using office and you can access it anywhere after the installation it asks for re restart so click on restart now one thing keep in mind after restarting you have to remove the iso file from your virtual box it's very important if you not remove this this one 
again it asks for installation I removed this now start the Ubuntu 14.04 OS click on Ubuntu yeah guys now the Ubuntu is ready the main feature of Ubuntu 14.04 is it gives keyboard shortcuts ok guys thank you for watching this video in my next video I will say how to full screen Ubuntu on VirtualBox if you like this video share this video click on likes and also write the comment